showing here how I managed to flash the KK Plus board using a bootloader way. Now first to begin with is you must have a KK Plus board and I'm using here is an MK USB which is and function as a FATDI uh, serial port uh, transmissions. To start with you have to switch this to the boot position. Done it, so going to the boot positions. Then I connect the cable to the programming port. So notice this, I have not plugged in the power yet. Do not power this right now. You will power that later on. I'll leave it aside. Now, run the KK2. This is a version 1.22. You can download from uh, website www.modularcshop.com so when you run this this is the interface that you're seeing first step look at the uh, COM port you have to open the COM port first okay for my MKUSB is at the COM16 so I select COM16 click open port now after that please look at the status when you click open port, you will say port open successful. Now is the time for you to power on the KK board. So for this MKUSB, I jump this to provide the power. Notice this, when you power on, it will tell you the bootloader version been loaded in this uh, particular board and you are ready, the connection is ready. Right now, time to load what firmware that you want to flash. So click on the load hex uh, file. This is a list of file that I have uh, for the time right now. For the time being right now, I'll select the quad X hex file from uh, designed by Mike Button. Double click, so it tell you the file size all loaded. Now notice this is a time for you to be able to do a flashing. What you do, do is to click at flash KK plus. When I click this, it will show you the page running and the light LED light is on. And you can see they are transmitting. Okay, when you finish, the LED will turn off and the screen will show you the message you are done and you are ready with this what you need to do is power off put it aside the board is off and unplug the power the programming port then switch it back to RC you are done the board now is flash ready with the new firmware for you to use. Please take extra careful not to turn this port adjustment. This is for voltage reference for those DIY that you want to use other type of a gyro and you want to adjust the reference voltage. So for all other software, other firmware that using port, you only play with these three port only. Thank you.